Hello, fishy friends. Welcome to the God First Kids Dive School, where we're going to learn what it means to follow Jesus. I'm going to start with a little joke for you. What did Cinderella wear when she swam in the sea? Glass flippers. You get it? Glass slippers, glass flippers. This week, anyway, you guys are going to be looking at the story of Peter preaching. Isn't it so amazing how the Holy Spirit can just empower us to do things that we can't do for ourselves, just like he did for Peter? The Holy Spirit gives us courage to tell other people about Jesus. So let's dive deeper into God's Word and see what it says about sharing Jesus with others. What's up, my friends? My name is Jake. I'm so glad that The Current has brought you here today because we're about to dive in to some pretty cool stuff. I mean, 95% of all living things on Earth live below the surface of the water, so it's an endless world of things to discover. It's amazing how God created all of the beautiful and exciting things we love about the ocean. And I'm pumped that we're going to dive into a few of those today. One way that we can get all of our fins in motion is to play a game. You'll see a picture of a sea creature, but it's going to be zoomed in on just one part of it. You'll have 10 seconds to guess what sea friend you think it is. If you're ready, let's count down from three and say fins. Ready? Three, two, one, fins! That actually makes me think of what it's like to follow Jesus. When you follow Jesus over time, you'll see him do amazing things in your life. And the best way to help others get to know Jesus is to share those awesome things with them. Jesus really is the very best, and everyone needs to know about him. So let me hear you say this after me, as loud as you can. Share. Share. Jesus. Jesus! That's right, because this song we're about to sing is all about who Jesus is and all of the awesome things he does. When we sing, we're sharing it with those around us. So let's do that together now.
was some great singing. Now, my friend Cora has some super fun things to show you today. So take a look. Hey there, friends. Thanks for popping by. I have some fun things to share with you today. Well, actually, my friends have some things to share. Here, listen to this. What a sound, right? That was a blue whale, and for all we know, he was telling his mom he needs a snack. But even if we can't understand him, the other whales in his pod most definitely can. These unique sounds allow them to share with other whales in their pod. When you hear them making noises, like the singing we just heard, scientists believe that could mean a couple different things. They could be migrating, which just means they're on the move, or that they're trying to find another whale in their pod. Even though we may not be able to hear the difference from one blue whale to another, the whales in the pod can. Every single pod has its own unique sound to communicate with one another, but it also helps them to spot outsiders. And singing isn't the only kind of sound whales make. You might also hear clicking noises from time to time. These help the whales navigate their way through the deep blue. For a while, scientists thought that the whale sounds had gotten louder over time, but sadly, they found that there's just more pollution preventing the sound from traveling. So, because the noise can't travel, when you're close enough to hear it, get ready because it is loud. And whales aren't the only animals that share info with each other by making sounds. Another adorable sea creature that has a lot to say is my personal favorite, the dolphin. While dolphins also share important information by clicking, their singing sounds unique from the whales. Here, take a listen. What a playful noise. Similar to whales, dolphins know if another dolphin is in their pod just by their chattering sound. And they even establish patterns of chattering so that they can easily communicate with one another. Dolphins are also quick to protect others in their pod from danger. So, when a dolphin senses something harmful, they make sure to share that information right away. When I think about the different ways that dolphins and whales share with one another, I can't help but think about what it is like to follow Jesus. These animals know how to get a message to one another and share the important information that keeps them safe. In a similar way, following Jesus was the very best decision I have ever made. He saved my life and I want to tell everyone I meet. I can't help but think about all of the amazing things Jesus has done for me and I want everyone to experience those things too. So I make it a point to share Jesus with others in any way I can. And when you decide to follow Jesus, it's so important that you tell others all about it. Sharing Jesus is one of the best things we can do for those we love. That was fascinating. Can you believe that there are creatures under the sea that have their very own language? And I love how Cora always finds a way to help us understand more about how everything in creation points us to Jesus. Hearing her talk about sharing Jesus reminded me of a story from the Bible. Here, you guys check this out. God's story, Peter preaches. So remember how part of God's story is about a guy named Peter who followed Jesus even though he messed up sometimes? Well, it goes like this. After Jesus died to rescue us, he came back to life. 40 days later, he rose into the sky right up to heaven. Right before he left, he told his disciples, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and give you power. Then you will tell everyone about me in Jerusalem in all Judea, in Samaria, and everywhere in the world. After that, Peter and the others weren't sure what to do, so they waited together in Jerusalem. While they waited, a sound like wind came from heaven. They saw flames that looked like tongues land on their heads. They were filled with the Holy Spirit. Other people who followed Jesus were waiting in Jerusalem too, and when they heard the sound, they all crowded together even though they spoke lots of different languages and couldn't talk to each other. But the Holy Spirit gave Peter and the disciples power. Now they could show people how to follow Jesus. See, the Holy Spirit helps us do things we can't do by ourselves. That day, the disciples spoke, 
and everybody understood them. That's like if someone said something in Latin or Swahili and we understood it. Seems impossible, but that's what happened. So Peter stood up and told everybody how the Holy Spirit had come and that we can all follow Jesus. He said, turn away from your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then your sins will be forgiven. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. By the way, that means that when we believe in Jesus, we get the gift of the Holy Spirit too. Anyway, Peter told huge crowds of people about Jesus that day, and more than 3,000 people chose to follow him. Jesus had given Peter a job, and with the help of the Holy Spirit, Peter would do that job for the rest of his life. And that's part of the story of Peter. So, in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Jesus died. He came back to life. He rose up to heaven. His followers had a job. They waited for the Holy Spirit. The Spirit came. Peter spoke. Everyone understood. People believed in Jesus. They got the Holy Spirit too. And that's a part of God's story. Wow! Peter had spent so much time being friends with Jesus and learning from him. It was like he couldn't help but share the good news of what Jesus had done with everyone. Okay, I want to see if you can remember some things that we talked about today. So check this out. Why does Cora want to share Jesus with others? A, because Jesus saved her life and has done great things for her. B, because she wants everyone to experience the great things Jesus has done for them. C, because she loves others. Or D, all of the above. Yes! Cora wants us to share Jesus with others because she knows that following Jesus is the best decision that anyone could make. But sometimes she needs help. So check out this next question. What does the Holy Spirit help us do? A, things we can't do by ourselves. B, scuba dive. C, eat spicy foods. Or D, all of the above. That's right. The Holy Spirit helps us do things we can't do by ourselves. Alone, it may seem impossible to share Jesus with others, but with the help of God's Holy Spirit, we can share the good news about Jesus' love with anyone we meet, just like Cora wants to do, and just like Peter did long ago. That's why Jesus promised to send the Holy Spirit to everyone who follows Him. The Holy Spirit helps us share Jesus with others. You guys, today's been so much fun, and I hope that you'll come back next week before you go, let's pray together. Jesus, you are awesome. Thank you for dying to rescue us and for coming back to life. And thank you for sending us a Holy Spirit to help us every day. Please help us to share you with others. Amen. It's time for me to go, but the fun is not over yet. What does this part of the big God story show us about who God is? The story of Peter preaching shows us that Jesus is the way, the only way to have a relationship with God. It also shows us that Jesus is our rescuer. So let's end our time together by standing up and praising God for who he is and what he does. See you next week. can pipe the waters that stand in front of me no one else can give me strength when i feel weak but you no one else can give me courage to take a step in faith no one else can ever love me like you do you will never leave me you will not forsake me
aspire of all my dreams.